You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad free. <laughs> Hello folks, we're Ink Dependence. I'm Mike and this is a Shown Design pen. Specifically, this is the Shown Design Twist Ultim Fountain Pen. And I picked this up as a loaner from, uh, from Ian at the Philly Pen Show. And I may have to... I, I may have to buy it from him at the at the Baltimore Pin Show. We'll see how it goes. Uh, unless I see something else, I must have. But this is a very cool pen, and is a larger version uh, of the regular Ultim fountain pen. You can see here when I put them end up that this one is a little bit thicker all the way around. It's a little bit longer. It doesn't have the taper. It's a much more sort of bar style pen. And this is a, a really interesting experimental platform, I think, for shown design. So let's talk a little bit about this pen, the features and how it looks and uh, some things that I think are special of, about it, and then show it next to some other fountain pens and that sort of thing, and, uh, and away we'll go. So this is, as I said, the Twist Ultim fountain pen. It is made of, as you might guess, Ultim, which can be finished to look a number of ways uh, this is the matte finish for this pen. You can see I've got a little bit of ink splatter up in here. I was carrying this one in my pocket the other day. And uh, this is sort of a, a more polished uh, version. I'm not sure... Like, it's not a full polished, because sometimes you can get this to be very clear, as with this one, which has a uh, different sort of, uh, you know, look to it because of the way it's finished. Ultim is a really interesting material, and you can check out, and just Google up Ultim, and you'll learn a whole bunch of things about it, about how it's used in medical applications and all kinds of things. But I like the look and the feel and sort of the, the toughness of this thing. So... One of the things that I have uh, been waiting for from Shown Design is a larger is a larger fountain pen, frankly, because while I love the normal size fountain pen, I also like things to be a little bit on the bigger side, and this one is a bit bigger. This was also available with a completely smooth body without these twists on it, but these twists I think are very special, and I really like them. So you can see if we just follow this one right here with our finger, that it goes to here. So this line ends up here. It doesn't go all the way around the pen or anything like that. It's not a full spiral. It's just kind of a twist, like a like a gentle rifling or something, but really interesting. And this twist is, of course, on the outside of the pen and not the inside. So if you go ahead and eyedropper this pen, which you could, you're not going to have any problems, you know, getting ink in the, you know, the, the, the flutes or grooves or whatever we want to call them. Uh, it will just look pretty cool. I don't generally eyedropper my pens and I didn't want to do that with this one. And so I just threw a converter in there and I think it looks pretty darn good. You can see there, it's just a regular standard, uh, you know, Schmidt converter, nothing super special, but definitely gets the job done. And I can see how much ink is in there. And for this pen, I decided to go ahead and get uh, or put in a, um, a sort of gold colored ink which I think suits it very nicely and I've been enjoying that quite a bit. We'll look at these stats again here in a minute. So this pen uses uh, Yovo number six nib units of all sorts including probably you can throw a monarch nib in there if you want. I did the monarch nib on my channel not too long ago. This is one of mine with a monarch nib in there. This will, of course, go into the Ultim pen if you would like it to. Mine has been living here in my Cheerio water pen though, so I went ahead and threw a uh, number six Yovo gold flex nib in here. This is a really, a really wet nib. I'm always, I always forget how these feel when I'm not using them, but it's a very wet nib. It's uh, pretty flexy. It's got a good amount of a uh, good amount of bounce to it, but you can put you know whatever you like in there, and that gives you a whole bunch of options for grinds and all kinds of things. Uh, and if you go through uh, Flexible Nib Factory or something like that, you can probably get all kinds of nib units for all kinds of things. Now you'll see there are several O-rings present in this pen. There's one here in the cap, which gives it a nice snug fit. I have never had this come un. Uh, come unscrewed on me in my pocket or anything. You have two of them in here, which lock off this area here in case you decide to eyedropper it. And then one up here just to keep it uh, all snug and secure and uh, ink proof, just in case you decide to eyedropper it. Ian didn't want you to have to add things like um, silicone uh, lubricant or anything in there to seal it off because it gets a little bit messy. And like, why do that when you can have these sweet little O-rings, which also look pretty darn cool. I also really like the look of the threads in there. I think it's, I 
think it's just an overall a very cool looking pen and I have really enjoyed using this one. So let me crank this down. It does take quite a few turns to unscrew the body. You're not going to get ink just randomly <laughs> coming out of this pen if you decide to eyedropper it. I know a lot of people love to eyedropper these pens. It does take a, a few turns to close it. Mm, probably about two and a half, I guess, turns to, to close it fully, but not a big deal. And of course, you can see the nib and the feed and all that through the cap which I think is very nice. Now you'll notice down here at the bottom, these don't quite line up. And uh, that's because I just didn't turn it very much. Let's give it another like tiny bit of a turn, a little bit of a wiggle there and boom, those all line up right across the seam, which uh, I really like. I think that's good. I also like the, this, uh, the ends here are kind of frosty. I think that's a good look. I'm real into it. I think it is, if you can't tell, a beautiful pen. Okay, so let's look at it next to a bunch of other pens. Okay, so I have, uh, <laughs> Snugged these up. There we go. I have snugged these up all next to each other and you can see that the twist Altem is a little bit longer than the regular Altem pen. Uh, it's also about the same as a Sailor Pro Gear. This is the standard full-size Pro Gear and a bit shorter than a Twisby Eco with the caps on and that sort of thing. And also, I like this color palette. I think this came out really well and it turns out that I really like pens in this color palette. Who knew? Uh, let's take some caps off and see what they look like without the caps on them. Here we have them with the caps off, and you can see that the standard Altem fountain pen is the same length as the Twist Altem once you take the caps off. The Twist does not have any of the tapering, and it doesn't have this conical bit at the bottom, and so it's just a touch longer because it doesn't have those things in the cap, and so that makes the cap itself just a bit longer, although not a huge amount, just just kind of a bit. I think the, I think really, probably, the point here lines up with the top, maybe not quite, but very, very close in terms of dimensions. So it's a bit different in terms of the finishing, but in the hand, these are going to be the same length with the caps off. This one's just a bit thicker overall, so that's pretty nice. You get about another millimeter on the outside of this one. The grip sections, however, are the same. That is a great size of, uh, you know, 10 to 11 millimeters, depending on where you hold it. Here you have a bit of a, a bit of a pinch, right? Here is the Pro Gear, which I always think is going to be a larger pen than it is. It's a fairly small pen, the Pro Gear, really. And then the Eco is quite a bit longer. This is a, a pretty long pen. So there you go. Um, let me throw uh, another one on here just for funsies. I have this one, which is the um, this is the King of Pen, just to give you an idea of how big this is compared to some other pens. So there you go. There's a, there it is next to a King of Pen, which is, as you can see, a lot bigger than the standard Pro Gear and a little bit longer than the Twist Ultim, but not a huge amount. Okay, let's do a bit of a writing sample. Okay, so this is my little Kokuyo soft ring. I think this is a great little thing to do, just a quick writing sample in. Good paper, nice feel. And uh, I've also got the stats over here at the left, so you can take a look at how, uh, how, how it might stack up to your preferred sizes while I'm doing a writing sample. All right, so as you can see, this is a pen that fits my hand kind of perfectly. I don't have any complaints about how long this is or uh, the width of the section or anything like that. I think this is uh, just a really comfortable pen to write with, uh, even for long sessions or whatever you're into. It kind of just keeps feeling great in your hand. Now, as you can see over here, uh, materials, Altim, of course, nibs, all the number six Yovo nibs. This is just one that I happen to have that I put in there. I felt like using that one. Filling systems, cartridge converter or eyedropper, all of those are fair game. Game. Weights, uh, about uh, 16 or 20 grams, depending upon whether you have it capped or uncapped. And that is, of course, with a nib unit and, uh, you know, a converter with some ink. So that might vary just a touch, but not in a way that you're going to hugely notice. Uh, lengths, we've got about five inches capped and uncapped. Uh, posted, it doesn't post. This uh, pen, unlike the standard Altum pen, doesn't have the taper, and so it can't post. But that's not really going to bother most people. I don't think there are a huge number of people out there clamoring for pens that post. But, uh, I mean, I like the option. But, you know, it's fine that it's not there. I just hold the cap in my other hand or just kind of set it because, you know, set it aside. It'll hang out there and wait for me. Pocket depth, no pocket depth because it doesn't have a clip. Now, I'm sure and certain that there are aftermarket clips you can add to these, but I haven't. And I don't know that I would because I wouldn't want to mar it. Uh, I really like the look of this thing and I, I don't really want to do that. I will put it on a pen rest or, uh, you know, put it on a crab. That sort of thing in case I want to, you know, set it on my desk. It kind of lives on this crab a lot of the time. 
which is a perfectly fine place for it to be. Now, diameters, uh, this is about 10 or 11 millimeters at the section, depending upon where you grip it, because it does have that sort of hourglass shape. And then 14 millimeters, uh, about 14.1-ish on here uh, for the, the body diameter. And it doesn't have a taper to it, so that's just going to be the static diameter. Now, the price for this one is $295 with all the grooves. I want to say that the, the smooth one was a bit less, but uh, that's going to vary. And here's the last thing. This is not available on the Shown Design website, uh, at least not yet. Now, it might be available there on the future. I, in the future, I don't actually know. However, he does have these to bring to pen shows. That's where they have been. Uh, and he said if you DM him, you can sort of special order them. So if you want to DM Ian over on uh, Instagram or something like that, uh, he can he can hook you up. Or I guess send him an email. That's another way people do those sorts of things. So, uh, you know, hit Ian up and, uh, you know, tell him you saw it here because you know, it's a good thing to hear. Now, I... Uh, <laughs> This is really cool, and I I really hope that this you know this body gives him a really cool platform to do all kinds of weird experimental things on. I love these grooves. I think it looks great. It's just kind of just kind of pleasing to sit there and twist. I don't know how fun that is. Yeah, not the cheapest pen on the planet, but these are all designed, made, manufactured, finished, all that jazz in uh, Ian's shop by Ian and his crew in Philadelphia. So, uh, you know, this is a, a really good pen by a person who stands by their work and does an amazing desob job design-wise. It's very thoughtfully made, and I really enjoy it. So, uh, I hope you liked this. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and uh, if you're looking for one of these, I would say act fast. I don't know how many of these are left. Uh, Ian said there weren't a huge number of them and I don't know if he's going to make more. I, I think that's all kind of up in the air because this is a bit of an experimental you know, kind of fun thing. So uh, you know, find him at a pin show. I will be working at his table at Baltimore uh, at the Baltimore Pin Show just you know, because he needed somebody to help out and I'm like, I would love to do that. So you'll find me there. Come say hi and uh, you know, send him a DM if you're not able to make it to a pin show to uh, get your hands on one of these Ultim Twists. It's dope. Alright, that's it. I will see y'all uh, later. Peace out.